Pretty sure we are back. And if so, welcome back to Twisted Marathon. We're on to everyone's favorite. Oh, just a quick update. There have been no new donations to the GoFundMe. So get those in if you want to get your donations read during the stream. Obviously, the next game we're coming up against is the big one, Twisted Metal Black, so... You might want to get some donations read during that one. I did take a quick look at what the, uh, the bits and, um, subscriptions have totaled. And it doesn't show me exactly what I've, like, raised today exclusively in bits and subscriptions, but to the total for the month is over $170, which is spectacular, and it's all going to the same place. And it is all a very big deal. Thank you so much to everyone for the bits and the subs and the GoFundMe donations and everything. This is a spectacular success already. And it is only just beginning. Um, let me actually do something that I normally do here. What I normally do is apply screen smoothing. And I think I'm going to do it here as well. Look at that. All that roughness removed. Much less dithering on all of our vehicles. It's what I'm used to. I was kind of curious to see what the entire game might look like without screen smoothing, but I don't know. Maybe I ought not subject everyone to that in case they don't want to see an abnormally rough playthrough of this game. Just in case. Anyway, what we're doing today will require me to actually go through and do some weird stuff in just a moment here. So don't mind me. Just allow me to immediately back out of character selection. This was done in error. What we need to do uh, right now is drop out the licensed music. Goodbye, one minute silence. As much as I enjoy your music, your specific brand of new metal, which is just Limp Biscuit meets corn, you're still pretty great. But you must be silenced. So instead of them, what we've got. Oh, I accidentally muted the music. That's not helpful for anybody. Here's our vehicle. Super Augur. I said earlier, I wasn't going to play as bosses exclusively throughout the stream, but uh, bosses are not off limits. So here we go. A full run as one of the boss vehicles. Boss vehicles do not have any intro screen, any bio whatsoever. No story, we don't even know who's behind the wheel of Super Augur. It is safe to imagine it is probably Buster Cobb, I think was his name? From Twisted Metal 3? But there is absolutely no way to prove it. And this is probably going to speed up this run quite a bit, because the boss vehicles are quite powerful. Even Augur, which is possibly the weakest of all the boss vehicles. Augur and Slam and Crusher are all quite weak. <laughs> so apparently our goal 
is to hit Rusher with our special at the same time as he hits us. I don't know how that's going to work, but I'm willing to attempt it. And there we go. Back in control. Yeah, we kind of blazed through Twisted Metal 3. It was pretty fun. Bumper is one of the funnest characters to play as in Twisted Metal 3. And honestly, I kind of enjoy Twisted Metal 3 overall. I still think it's probably the worst Twisted Metal game. But the average Twisted Metal game is very, very good. So Super Augur... If I'm not mistaken, I promised to play as Super Augur in a previous um, playthrough that I did of Twisted Metal 4. And in fact, the only reason I didn't play Super Augur the last time I did a full playthrough was because I thought I had done so already. Whoops. <laughs> I was so thoroughly invested in playing a full Augur playthrough that I legitimately assumed I already had. Ever since I switched to, like, an algorithmic determination for what uh, character I'm going to play as next, I have been a lot less uh, meticulous about making the decision. So what we're going to want to do is try and joust directly towards Crusher, I think. And then all we need to do is get grabbed while we're face to face, and then I can activate my special, and then uh, all should be well. Crusher does not seem to want to use his special right now, though. He had the chance. We were nose to nose a second ago. Let's save, Crusher. Are you afraid of having to fight another construction vehicle? Not to your liking? Picking on someone your own size is a little too scary for you? Looks like it. Oh well. Use the explosive goo, which is legitimately a really cool touch. That is essentially of no use to us at any point throughout the entire playthrough. The flaming goo is kind of useful in... There we go. Oh, is that what you were trying to show me? I think Pizzerato knew that would happen. Or if you twist someone who's lifting you up, you fly into outer space. So that wasn't as much a challenge as a, like, demonstration of cool knowledge that I wasn't aware of. Good stuff. And again! <laughs> yeah, Crusher now wants to make that happen. He's no longer afraid of me. I gotta remember that they added an extra input to basically all of the energy moves in this game. For absolutely no reason. <laughs> Thank you, Rijoy, for also joining in the challenge rewards. Tremendously appreciated. Legitimately do not have words for how much I appreciate what everyone is doing here. Hey, hype train. We're headed that way. 
that would be two in one day. That's never happened before. To use speedrunner vernacular. Um, how do I drive this vehicle forward? Yeah, this suddenly got very awkward. I got caught in a little corner. For much too long. Hell yes. Thank you, Glass Tyrant. That is indeed a nice cash. And Crusher's out of here. We're on to Neon City. Now, Neon City, we can't cheese in any way. The hype train is now official, it looks like. So that's pretty cool. I forgot that these levels do not advance automatically, so I was just sitting around on the screen, which allowed me to drive as much as I wanted. Unfortunately, we cannot listen to Cirrus. Their song is one of the fastest to get, like, content ID'd. If you include it in a video, I don't know why. Instead, we get one of my least favorite Twisted Metal songs that I still put in the soundtrack because it's still a good song. It just drives me mad because I've heard it for hours of my life. Last thing I need is to hear more of this song. But I put it in the soundtrack, nonetheless. I'm stuck. Close one. This is the bootleg small brawl version of the Honky Tonk song from Holland. Which we will be hearing within small brawl later this very day. Oh yeah, massive attacks. I should be doing some of those. Look at how slowly this car reverses. This is the fastest I can reverse, it seems. So that kind of balances our vehicle. Oh well. It's not that bad. Massive attack into a special, into an explosive barrel. Really, the only thing that makes this vehicle better than any of the default vehicles is that our HP is through the roof. Like, double what any of the normal base vehicles has. So we get to live forever. I don't have to be careful at all. I can just go all out at all times and I have very, very minimal risk of death. Which is important because death in this game is a very big deal. You don't get to die very frequently due to the hard cap of five deaths per playthrough. You see what happens if you make it all the way to the final level, and you only have one life left. Yeah, 4, I think, is a fantastically designed game. I think it's visually great. It was made by a team of, like, really solid artists who have gone on to a very stunning visual artwork that I've enjoyed immensely in the Mark of Kree series. Everything about Twisted Metal 4 is great except the gameplay, which is slow as molasses. Hitting with any weapon is near impossible, and even if you manage to land a hit, you are not very well rewarded.
which really, really drags everything out. The levels are as numerous as they are in any other Twisted Metal game. And they're only slightly larger than most other Twisted Metal games. But you spend so much longer in each level. Just because you can't deal any damage no matter how hard you try. Actual lightning damage. Fatal Lightning, even. Doesn't happen too often. The hitbox on the teleporters is a little larger than I would like. Because I don't often want to use the teleporters. Trying to freeze the Joneses, but they froze me. This game does have the maze to its eternal detriment. That level legitimately should not exist. I wouldn't mind it in a game that controlled well. I'll say. Um, something with homing would be nice right about now. Better homing than that. Clearly, that'll do. One of the worst things about the Honky Tonk song is that it's really long. It's one of the longest songs from Twisted Metal 1. Or 2, for that matter. Driving across the wall, which is perfectly fine. And moon buggies here. Get myself a great distance away from the spawn point, because I'm probably going to have to hyperspace away soon. Right about now. Oh, by the way, if it wasn't obvious, I switched to console. Because the default controls for Twisted Metal 4 are atrocious, and I don't feel like setting them up in the emulator. And because I had to play Twisted Metal Black on console anyway, so that I can get credit towards unlocking Minion once and for all. Which is something I would like to do. Well, the uh, what is that move called? The phaser or something? Quasar has super weird effects. I bet if I could get him to do his special while I'm hitting him with the auger thing, that would also be very bizarre but much less likely than when it happened with, uh, Crusher. Tragically. Well, I did get the massive attack, but not in an ideal moment. And it took up all of my energy, so now... I'm just getting flung all over the place and I can't teleport away. I have made an error in judgment. Let's see if there are any health refills available. But I would prefer not to lose a life on the first level of the game. A game that only provides five total lives.
That actually restores a surprising percentage of the HP bar. Like half of it, it looked like. Unfortunately, I can't make the jump because I have no turbo, but... Even still, as soon as Moon Buggy shows up, I should be able to take him out. There he is. Nice work, calming missiles. Damn you, massive attack. So tempting. So often leaves me completely helpless. Get Quasard. And there should be a turbo pickup here in the upper level. I kinda need it to get the health pick up and the auto lobber. Fortunately, they did make Augur like half the speed of most other vehicles, which we're gonna have to get used to. Seems like fighting regular enemies is going to be very easy throughout this playthrough, and fighting bosses is going to be very hard. Which is kind of weird. Not that the bosses are ever easy, even in a normal playthrough. And this is one of the hardest bosses in the entire game. But, nonetheless, it's over. And I imagine a lot of the future bosses are going to be similarly rough. Not too bad, though. Ever since playing Small Brawl, I kind of want there to be vehicles that can mimic other vehicles' specials in basically every Twisted Metal game. The mime gimmick is really, really cool. <laughs> I'm willing to try that. I've honestly always wanted to try. Getting Thumper or any vehicle, really. To teleport onto a triple proximity mine and thus instantly explode and die. I've never attempted it, but I did realize that that could hypothetically speed this level up. This level, which is a really, really rough one. Not because it's difficult, because it is zero fun. What were you going for there, Auto Lobber? I'm disappointed in you. Oh, my special wouldn't grab anyone either. Seemed like it was capable of grabbing some people there. It opted not to do so. I can't hit anybody. This holding doesn't work in this game. Unfortunately, finishing people off is always the hardest part. Oh, and I can't, like, aim because I back up so slowly. Now let's leave. Bunch of proximity mines all over the place. 
and hope for the best. The best is sort of happening. One person died at least. At least two more are ready to die. There are a lot of freeway levels in the Twisted Metal series. So it's a proven fact that it can work really well. And then there's this freeway level. Which is atrocious. One of the worst levels in the entire series. And it simply has no excuse. There are so many ways to have improved it. They did not opt to go for any of those ways. <laughs> Blew myself up there, but it worked out. It's going quickly enough. Largely due to some fortuitous turns in AI behavior, really. More than anything that I'm actually doing. Buy some Dada brand shoes, I think. Pretty sure they were shoes. I looked up what they were when I did the Let's Play. And I'm pretty sure they're not even a defunct brand. Like, they still exist and put out products. I think. I could be wrong. I do not remember. In all these full game playthroughs of Twisted Metal 4, I've never been curious about it before. I don't know why this time it's piqued my interest. Mr. Zombie, I presume. Now let's auger him. Nice. Spin him around. I think that new Rob Zombie uh, Munsters movie came out. Where he got to actually drive the Dragula, or at least make it. Make a physical Dragula to be driven. So I assume that was fun for him. I don't know if it was fun for anyone else, but... It's cool that that exists. Something with homing. There we go. Mr. Zombie's ready to die, and then... Yeah, that purple dot still has basically all of its HP. Or, Mr. Zombie's the purple dot. Goggle Eyes still has most of its HP. But Goggle Eyes is a gigantic target that doesn't actually have very much HP, so... That's not as bad as it seems. There goes Mr. Zombie for some reason. Just drop dead. Any number of hillbillies could have slaughtered him in any number of needlessly gruesome ways. Uh, where'd... where'd he go? Okay, we're fighting around the, uh... The launch pad. Just getting a bit awkward. Let's get a bead on this giant cockroach. And take it the hell out. No, he got the health refill. That one is never available, too. I think he only got it because it was there, which is kind of stated in the obvious, but I don't think he was going for it. I mean, the way that the Twisted Metal 3 vehicles are constantly going for health refills. 
I'm pretty sure that one is just in the path of the way that the vehicles just normally drive. And he stumbled into it. Somewhat inadvertently. So, what we're going for... Hopping in here. Seeing if he will take the bait. I don't know if this is the best place to leave that, but it appears to have been the best place to have left that. <laughs> well, that uh, speeds up this playthrough quite a bit. That's my favorite boss fight in this game, too. It's the fight against Stumper, because Stumper is the only one who's not, like, ridiculously broken or just kind of pathetic. And now I don't have to do it. Sorry, Thumper. You performed admirably in Twisted Metal 3. so well that you got promoted to a boss. Okay, lightning is available. Ooh, everyone's uh, ready to get zapped. So much lightning that it slowed the game down. It's always a good sign. that out of here. Just in case. I'd be curious if there's any games in Twisted Metal where bouncing off the skybox would be not an instant kill. Like they didn't make it a death plane. as a little failsafe. Because that's what's happening in this game, in case anyone missed why Thumper spontaneously died there. We got launched such a great distance, because vehicles in this game are completely weightless. And he hit the top of the level. So the game just killed him. Um, yeah, power missiles are the best choice. I've got plenty. Why did he jump there? And why was it the perfect time to dodge my power missile? Put me on ice, so we'll just have to wait for a while. It's too bad that free shots actually are good design. Because they're also a waiting mechanic, and waiting mechanics are almost always bad design. But in this game, it sort of evens out because you need them to aim more powerful attacks. Most of the strongest attacks intentionally have bad homing or no homing. So the free shot sort of uh, is an equalizer. Make those sort of attacks more viable. It is still very annoying when I get frozen. It's bad design when I get frozen. It's good design when other people get frozen. Because that's how game design works. gives me an idea. Check if the lightning is back. It is not. It was still a worthy experiment. The random playlist is favoring head-on right now. Which does have a very good soundtrack, so 
there are a lot of tracks from it on the random playlist, it is likely to appear at any given time. I think there's a health refill up on the dresser. It did not appear that anyone went for it while they were up there. I'm trying to do free shots, but I keep forgetting that there's a fourth input. Two free shots in this game, so I'm doing the usual series of inputs and it's not working. Because it is not intended to work. That's how it's intended to work. Okay, I had my special activated and didn't mean to. Goggle Eyes is stuck inside of a wall because I grabbed him and then pushed him through the wall. Now he just lives there. Or at least he did briefly. Like a cockroach himself. He'd hate to hear that, though. It's kind of weird that in the end of Trash Man's story, they reveal that Trash Man has been friends with cockroaches the whole time. And his wish was to make a world where cockroaches could be, like, happy forever. A world of trash. But that didn't put him at odds with Goggle Eyes. I don't know, it feels like they should have tied in the two stories a little. For fun. Um, heard of Grudge Warriors. Bizarre budget vehicular combat game for the PS1. That is the first uh, time I've ever heard those two words put together in that order. Maybe I shall have to explore this Grudge Warriors you speak of. Because two or three of those words sound right up my alley, and I'll ignore the other ones until they come back to bite me. I don't know quite how many people I got with that lightning strike. No, Goggle Eyes and Captain Grimm are on the verge of death. But neither is anywhere near me, so that doesn't help. There. I don't know who killed, uh... I guess that was Captain Grimm? Doesn't matter who kills him. All that matters is he's dead. Now where did Goggle Eyes go now? I caught on something. I'm stuck. And my reverse is so slow that getting unstuck is very difficult. I don't get a lot of efficacy out of the mortars, so I don't use them very often. Hey, thanks for taking that free shot there, Quattro. Guess now I'll leave proximity mines everywhere. Because I haven't landed a legitimate hit in a very long time. Kill. Only one left. Where the hell are you? I will trade health to deal damage here. And luck into a death by proximity mine. Now, RC car. 
Probably the third hardest boss in the game. Oh man, that is horrible luck. Got pinned in a corner and frozen. The RC car just spammed the laser special over and over again. This hitbox is so tiny. It's a deceptive amount smaller than the way he appears. Power missiles are actually extremely underpowered in this game. Even though their damage output is very high, enemy hitboxes are microscopic. So it's very hard to land a power missile. Wouldn't be too bad if RC car killed me. But I certainly wouldn't be happy. We're keeping pretty much a lockstep as far as uh, how much HP we have compared to one another. Which I guess is fitting because we're both bosses. swerving around, which is the ultimate counter to Augur and Augur's horrible handling. Yep. Right. Ah, I tried to grab him with the Augur special, but no such luck. Oh, if he chases me down here, that would be fantastic. And he's done so. My Merv was useless, but... I got him killed, and I didn't even die in the process. Hopefully that's the most obnoxious boss fight in this whole game. Because <clears throat> I'm definitely going to skip the final boss, and I might skip this boss, Axel. Just because you can, pretty easily. Might as well make this playthrough as short as possible because Twisted Metal 2 went way too long. I didn't realize that when I streamed Twisted Metal 2 last week, on practically no sleep, I was actually practicing for the Twisted Marathon, where I would be playing for 12 straight hours. I don't actually know that it will be 12 straight hours. I'm just sort of guessing based on my usual play times. But some of my runs have been a little shorter. One has been much longer, so anything's possible. And also, I've never done a full playthrough of Twisted Metal 2012. I guess I just let the cat out of the bag that I'm doing all three campaigns of Twisted Metal 2012 close this sucker out. This vehicle is very slow. Making this platforming nearly impossible. Nearly impossible. Might as well attempt a proxy mine. Cheap kill. Which 
Twisted Metal 2012 probably will not be exclusively a matter of Juggernaut. I will attempt to use regular vehicles for the most part. There goes Mr. Zombie. He is now aptly named. Zombie that he is. But I'll probably fall back on using uh, Juggernaut a lot when I play Twisted Metal 2012. You gotta do 2012. One of the reasons I wanted to do the marathon is because there's supposed to be a new game out next year and I don't have a PS5 and it will probably be a PS5 exclusive. So I won't have the means to play it. And at that point, I won't be able to do a Twisted Marathon. Because I won't be able to play one of the games. Maybe I'll figure something out, but... I'd rather have the known quantity of being able to play all nine games and doing the ball in one go. Also, maybe the new game will be like an actual game and thus like 10 hours long and thus I would not be able to add it to a marathon that's already quite long. Or maybe the new game just won't happen. No one truly knows at this point. I'm mostly curious, though. I'm sure it'll be fine if it does happen. Maybe it'll be really good. Our Pizza Boy is not at low health. Most other people are. But I can't move, so I can't really take advantage of that. Any volunteers for death anytime soon. There, trash man. Congratulations, trash man. You have been blessed. Okay. I mean, everyone's ready to die, which is pretty solid. Because this level normally takes forever. But I can't seem to close the deal on anybody. There's Pizza Boy. Got him. Why would you leave Proximity Mines? You're General Warthog. You have the special that drops a thing and then you can explode it and it's better than a Proximity Mine. General Warthog doesn't know how good he has it. He's like the strongest vehicle in the whole game. But when the AI controls him, he's just a damage sponge. Takes forever to kill. And that's all he's got going for him. There goes Calypso, and... I don't know what Mr. Zombie's doing, but I thought I killed him a long time ago. I guess I killed Captain Grimm instead. All the same to me. Really is a shame that they're basically identical in appearance and largely in function when you get right down to it. Uh, where are you going? Where are you going? Oops, so doesn't know what he's doing. First time ever competing. 
He thought it would be way easier. Absolutely humiliating himself with an impossibly overpowered vehicle that's still probably going to lose. Literally a nuclear warhead launcher. Still can't win. Uh, anything with homing? Of course not. Sick dodges right now, and my bullets go right over the hitbox on Mr. Zombie. I'm gonna go for the cheap proximity mine kill. Or not. I mean, maybe I'll still go for it, but it's gonna take a long time now. There's Axel. He might just blast me into space right now. Axel's AI being abnormally good. Does a lot of very obnoxious things. Nope, 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 nope. And I save this. E no. <laughs> I oversaved it and flung myself off the other side. Ah, of all the bosses to have played as in this game, Axel is, or Augur, is I think the most balanced one. Just because it's so slow. I wonder if Mr. Slam is this slow, because Crusher isn't this slow, I don't think. But Augur and Mr. Slam appear together. So they need to be as difficult as one boss when they are combined. I mean, I also like Moon Buggy. Moon Buggy is kind of balanced by the fact that it is shaped in such a ridiculous way. That playing as it is still very awkward. So it is... I don't know, there's no like way to quantify it, but for some reason... Moon Buggy is not that imbalanced, despite having one of the best specials in the entire game. Also, Moon Buggy and Sweet Tooth's specials are the only things with, like, homing that is functional. So... I wouldn't mind anything with functional homing in this game. That's really what makes this game fun. It's playing any of the vehicles that can actually hit anything else, as I certainly can right now. In light of that, I will go for the lightning attack, which hits everybody everywhere. For a lot of damage, too. Go. There's our lightning, and... I got teleported into me. Sadly, neither of us were telefragged. Unfortunately, everybody left. Except Calypso. And meter mates here. That'll do. No one died, but everyone's pretty beat up.
Now to get back on the fight platform. Where all combat is performed. If you want anyone to actually take any appreciable damage in this level. Reverse movement is so awkward, I never know what's even going on. Massive attack, pretty much a total waste. I think I landed one homing missile. Can't get meter made. Much too slow. That fourth input when doing a free shot makes the free shot totally useless. Because you're just never going to be able to time the free shot in that moment when the uh, enemy is actually vulnerable to it. And the ability to remap your buttons is very, very, like, well implemented in this game, except for the fact that you cannot remap how to do uh, energy moves. They could have implemented precisely that feature, but they chose not to. <laughs> That's what I normally do. That's not a challenge, I'm afraid. But it is a challenge I will take you up on. I almost always skip these bosses. Using that same trick. Should... Yep, brutalize Calypso. Who I now need to chase because I'd rather he... is not tempted to go get a health refill. This puts me in a good spot. However, I need a turbo pickup, which should be inside here. Yes, there we go. That should get me a lightning strike if one has respawned. Yes, good stuff. And now we wait for people to join me. I guess I'll attempt to get the health refill in the meantime. Close one. In the Let's Play, I think I did fight Super Augur and Super Slam. Legitimately. And I don't think I've done it since because it is rather tedious. Yeah, Super Augur can just barely make that jump. No wonder the AI always falls off the edge. I want to make sure Microblast gets zapped. Because of all the people I need to zap out of existence. That's like the main one. He survived. And I don't think anyone else got hit at all. Why do they always jump? I don't get why the AI loves to jump so much in this game. But now I'm stuck with Microblast, who I cannot harm. Yeah, I couldn't do anything. 
But, on the bright side, Microblast did not get the health refill. Oh, that was super weird, but for some reason my hyperspace wouldn't go off until I was a millimeter away from the kill plane. <laughs> I'm glad it did go off. Eventually. But it really wanted to make me sweat. Clipped back onto the platform when I landed on top of the fence. Could just as easily have clipped out of the platform. Also would have put me in a bad situation. Uh, in what ways can I harm anybody in this video game that is meant to be about combat? Not very many. Certainly not with speed missiles. These things are terrible. That was weird. The proximity mine blew up well before Quattro got to its hitbox. That's not how that's supposed to work. Next time I see Microblast, I should be able to take him out. I have seven specials built up. Yeah, I literally just ran over Microblast. Which is kind of satisfying. All that's left. Captain Grimm. Do I have... Freeze Bombs? <laughs> For you, Desidu, I will. Blow up, Sweet Tooth. Just launch him straight into the skybox. Never to return. Under no other circumstance would I do that exact move. So I'm glad you brought it up. Here we go. The hard part is going to be getting to the platform. As Super Augur. Uh oh. He froze me before diving into the pit. That's certainly a choice. There's a bit of randomness. He could make it all the way, but he didn't. One down. Jump over the roller coaster. I don't even know what that means. The roller coaster is up against the wall. But I'll try. Try to do something that uh, represents jumping over the roller coaster in two levels from now. <laughs> that is a fun way to finish that level. Whereas actually fighting both of those bosses is a not very fun way to finish that level. Now for the maze. Speaking of things that are not very fun. We will go right for the lightning strike. But of course, you need to soften people up before using the lightning strike. And you need to find where the lightning strike is. Finally found an inlet. Get closer to it, at least. There it is. Up there. Yes. Not gonna use it yet. It is most effective when used to deal lethal damage to uh, most of its targets.
so Goggle Eyes might already be in lethal range if I were to launch the Lightning Strike. Calypso, I can't seem to grab with my special for some reason. There. Gotcha. That was weird. Because when I was playing as Trash Man, Calypso was the easiest character to grab with my special. I just tormented him with that thing the entire run. Just embarrassed him the whole time. Now I finally get to spin him around. Which is also quite the embarrassing thing to do. Whoops, I was looking adequately beaten up. Goggle Eye's not as hurt as I expected. So I might need to go after him a little harder. And he's right nearby, so might as well. Uh, yeah, this seems good. One death. have to do. Oh, I touched a seam. So, of course, my vehicle's freaking out now. Let me off the seam. Ugh. The thing that kills this level, obviously, is the corners. There's nothing good about this level, but the thing that's really, really unforgivably bad is the fact that touching any corner totally breaks the game. This renders you absolutely uncontrollable. But we're used to it. We've seen it many times. Take the bad with the good when it comes to Twisted Metal 4. Goggle Eyes has been directly behind me for about a minute straight, and I still can't seem to get him in front of me, and I don't know why. There, he finally drove away. Where do you even have to go, Goggle Eyes? Surprised that took so much ammo to kill him? Hmm. I don't know how he had so much life. Ah. So I accidentally activated Turbo because this is the first game that introduced double tapping Accelerate to initiate Turbo. And it is poorly implemented. So I activated accidentally all the time. Surprised I had enough momentum to make it over here to get over to this. To fire it off again. Two more kills. Quattro should be easy. Trash Man will not be easy. I mean, he won't do much, but he has a lot of HP. Since they gave four vehicles the grab and shake around special, at least one of them should have had, like, a low HP pool to differentiate it from the group of near-identical vehicles. Or G-O-N-I-Vs. Gonivs. They call them in the Twisted Metal circuit, where people willingly choose to talk about this game. I know for a fact they exist. I'm talking to a bunch of them right now. And we say Goniv all the time. 
All right, there's Quattro. If I get Quattro frozen, or Trash Man frozen, I'll take Trash Man. Well, I'll take them both. Blow them both up with the auto lobber. Um, I literally can't even see where the corner is on that texture because the texture is too busy for a PS1. This was my free shot. Didn't end up mattering. Crash Man is the only vehicle as awkward as we are. So we actually can sort of theoretically fight him, but it's not working well. It is a bad idea, and I don't know why I'm doing it. Okay, I grabbed him at least. Our core special is so very ineffective. That'll do. Almost launched me up to the higher level, which would have been convenient. The lightning should be back, and I should collect it so that it respawns again sooner. It is not back, tragically. Ah, well, it'll probably be back soon. Hey, thank you for the follow. Lightning is indeed back. Because that new follower is Lightning 09Z. Perfect time for Lightning to appear. Unfortunately, the game still will not give me Lightning. There it is. Just barely made it. Got my Lightning. I think I'm going to try beating up Minion for a while and then zapping him. Just gonna try that out. See how it works. Suspect it won't work especially well. Yeah, I got hit with the serpent. And I did not get a chance to detonate my remote bomb. And then I blew myself up. Propelling myself at impossible speeds. Far, far away from my target. Don't have to kill him, just have to hurt him real bad. And then the lightning will do the rest of the work. He was starting to do an infinite special combo. Fortunately, he stopped. Thank you for the gift sub. On behalf of our new follower, this probably won't be lethal now that I think about it. Not even close. Minion might have a little bit too much HP. I'd say he is likely to cost me one of my lives here. not a whole ton I can do about it. Okay, he's teleporting around the corners for some reason. I'm sure he doesn't even know why he's doing that. Perfect. Not at all awkward. Augur, definitely nailing it. There we go. Let's grind him up. For negligible amounts of damage each time. What I ought to be doing is switching to a different weapon while I haven't grabbed. It's a little late for that now. Where is he? 
I mean, I can't see him. He made himself invisible. Yeah. This boss fight is super obnoxious. Because this level is super obnoxious. So everything here has to be absolutely unbearable. Even an overpowered boss vehicle struggles just the slightest bit here. The struggle, though, is mostly a matter of I can't really move around properly. And neither can the boss. So I don't think either of us knows what is going on at the moment. Okay. Well, I found the boss, at least. And he backfired his special, of course. This might be a faster way to travel around the level. Let's try it. Nope. It propels you in a seemingly random direction. Otherwise, it might have gotten me where I was going. Rather quickly. But I just can't figure out how to make it work in my favor. Anyway, that's not it. Oh, I was gonna say, if he had survived that, I would have been pissed. Hello, Rear Dice. Thank you for joining us. Twisted Metal 4, almost over. Then we're on to the good game. The best game in the whole series. I'm looking forward to it. It's also the official Twisted Monday playthrough. Even though today is by no means the day that is typically called Monday. Now to try and jump over the uh, roller coaster. Oh, I know what you mean now. Like jump over the roller coaster car. Yeah, that's, uh, that's certainly a challenge. That will take some very specific timing. And I'm almost at a turbo. I think there's a turbo pickup over... Not over here. I think there's one over here. Yes. Okay, let's get as much... Oh, I jumped a little too late. Now I'm being comboed into oblivion by the roller coaster. Attempting this challenge was a bad idea. Okay, let's start at the top of the hill so that we can look down on the roller coaster and get a better idea of when it's coming. That was over it. I think. I will leave it to the person who proposed that challenge to determine whether or not that counts. I also got hit by it, so my timing was, uh, flawed. But I clearly tried. I don't have any explosive mines. I got hit by the roller coaster again. That ain't it. There. No more roller coaster. I'm sick of that thing. Is anyone near the roller coaster, though? I think. Now I'm seeing some explosive barrels. 
seeing what I want to see. Just people within lightning range. That'll do. Not that the lightning hurts that bad. But it's better than nothing. Any good weapons lying around? Not really. Not in Twisted Metal 4. It seems like when you grab someone with the Augur Special, if they're really small, like Microblast here, they spin around ridiculously fast. Maybe that's just an optical illusion, but it did seem like Microblast was spinning way, way faster than everyone else that I've grabbed. Unfortunately, I won't be able to grab him again. I guess I won't be able to freeze him again. And grabbing him without freezing him first is uh, not going to happen. See? Can't freeze him. Okay, I grabbed him. But he exploded immediately. So it didn't prove very much. Not especially good science there. Where? Get? Ugh. Everyone's turning radius is so much better than mine. I can't get them in my sights if they choose to loop around me forever. It's not a problem with the vehicle. I mean, it is a problem with the vehicle, but it's balanced. It's a problem with the AI. And the way the AI insists on being a huge pain in the ass. It's still better than the AI of Twisted Metal 3. But not by much. Okay. Almost. Can't really hit each other right now. Hey! I can't believe that actually landed. Because homing shots almost never land. On to another identical phase of the same thing. This is usually where I open up the hole in the floor. And hope for the best. Get my hands on these weapons. And speed this all up. Certainly got a lot of proximity mines. Are they gonna help me? It's unlikely, but I'll try. Dumping them all over the track. If someone gets hit with them, they probably have so much knockback that they'll knock them right off the track. And thus, they will not hit the other six that I left. Okay, Quattro is doing the jousting thing, which I cannot match. Trash Man is as terrible as I am, so. Actually, I played as Trash Man recently, and Trash Man's handling is much better than what I'm seeing here. They actually did go out of their way to make this boss handle in a very, very bad way. It's been... A very stiff playthrough. But it's almost done. And it has afforded us so much recklessness. It still has been kind of fast-ish. 
or a playthrough of this game that doesn't have any exploits or cheats or uh, weird glitches involved. There have definitely been exploits, but minimal exploits. Deaths are fine. A death at this point speeds me up very slightly. Oh man, the hitbox on what counts as a grab on Calypso is super weird. Look at how much empty space there is in this level where there's no pickups or anything. The tracks have a lot of pickups on them. But this open uh, circus area is really a void. Gotcha. Nice and lethal. Now all I have is a freeze shot. Or a freeze bomb. And it didn't explode in a wide enough area. So now all I have is a uh, machine gun. Okay, trying to telefrag trash man caused me to get bounced out of the way. We're not allowed to occupy the same space at the same time. Got a handful of weapons, got a victim. Gotcha, just barely. Right before he got into the teleporter. What I do not have is proximity mines. Or when Sweet Tooth shows up. As it has been suggested that I blow Sweet Tooth straight out of the uh entire level. Just delete him from the game. I am willing to obey that request. Begrudgingly. You know I hate to do it. Unfortunately, I have to fight Quattro. Quattro is going to be a fun playthrough. It is not today's playthrough. Can't use those. Gotta save those proxy mines. What is he doing? Do something that makes sense, Quattro. So that I can react. Launch these attacks that have absolutely no homing on them. Blow myself up with the auto lobber. Quattro is a final boss now. Because I can't hurt him. Yep, straight up can't hurt him. Hmm. <laughs> Gotcha. Didn't do very much, but I did getcha. And I burned him to death. All right, should be good. Let's just wait for it. He's coming right for me. Off he goes. Victory. Now to stop the music so we don't, uh... <laughs> nice. So we don't, uh... Play anything over this very satisfying ending cutscene. Check it out. You 
You've effortlessly defeated your rivals in our Twisted Metal Tournament. With Sweet Tooth's good graces and permission, we offer you one wish for your heroic and triumphant deeds. Your wish has been granted, driver! Someone will see you out. Goodbye! Make your own wish. <laughs> what do you think Augur would have wanted? It's kind of funny, there is a placeholder screen for the driver of Augur. Accessible in, like, if you hack the game, tear apart the files, it's on the disc. It is the exact same screen as Augur's um, bio screen in Twisted Metal 3. But it suggests... It suggests that they were planning to put storylines in for the bonus characters. But they never got around to it. Ah, uh, well. Thank you for the contribution. Desidu, one of many. All of them. Tremendously appreciated. So there we go. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Thank you for... a very large number of pennies. That adds up. I will gladly accept that. So... There are only three characters left in, in uh, Twisted Metal Black. So I am afraid... I have had to choose which one we're playing as and practice it in advance. If so, some Rio dice. Thank you so much. If anyone else is feeling generous, they can do that anonymously. And I'm glad that someone has opted to do so. Truly amazing that everyone suddenly became incredibly generous here at the conclusion of Twisted Metal 4. Also, you can hit up the GoFundMe, particularly if you have a message that you would like to leave so as to have it read. As we begin Twisted Metal Black, coming up in just a few minutes after I eat several slices of pizza. Wish me luck and see you soon with Twisted Metal Black, a.k.a. The Good One.